Let's just say every episode we've done this far hasn't been fun. Let's give a warm welcome to Zach Dunn. You're alienating I, him right off so? the top. You're making it seem like it's him versus us or something like that. No, we're I'm supposed just... to like, you know, bring him into the fold in a nice, friendly manner. But you're like sort of antagonizing it. I don't think he feels that way. Zach, do you feel that way? Um, No, it feels like a lot of pressure. Like, it feels like you're saying it hasn't been fun. And then now it all yeah. kind of lies on me to make it fun. Pressure. But right. yeah. it's OK. I mean, it's OK. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Nice. Nice to nice to be here. I don't like my birthday. That's why I wasn't burying the lead. I, the bur- That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that it's November 28th or you don't like having a birthday? At I don't all? like the attention. Like, Interesting. It's a that's weird... That's like the, when I, people ask me about you, I'm like, he hates attention. Yeah. That's, like, <laughs> that's my... No, that's the thing. I like yeah. other attention. Okay. But I on see. the birthday, you didn't do anything. It's too easy. So you... Welcome to another edition of the HeadGum Podcast. Uh, with me as always, Jake Hurwitz, Rika Brownlee. Hi, Zach Dunn. I'm not always here. All right. Um, hey. <laughs> and especially Zach's not always here. I don't want to derail it immediately, but I do think I'm now in the two timers club of being on this podcast. You are. You came in I hot, to, to be honest. honest. I wasn't sure. I'm not. That's true. That's true. <laughs> See, it's a bomb. There's, um, I don't believe anybody else has ever been on this show twice in terms of people Sorry, who are folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, and when they get in the two timers yeah. club, they have to come through me and all. It'll be like SNL right. and I come out and I give them a little sport coat and uh, <laughs> send them on their merry way. So excited to be the first member of the two timers club. And again, sorry to come in so hot. And then, yeah, but uh, now everyone knows who's listening. Yeah. So you're, the, you're, you're, you're are you saying you're the Tom Hanks of the headgun podcast? I mean, thank you for saying, I, no, that. I didn't say I have, I'm the nicest guy. And we're Head asking Gun if podcast. you said it. I, yeah, no, I don't know. I'm, I maybe I'm the second to say it after Jeffrey, but I'm just repeating him. We're doing these video episodes. I was going to say is that you should know that you're on video now. On YouTube. Oh, okay. 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 That's the thing that you decided to wait to tell me until we started. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm like doing anything weird visually, so it's fine. It's not like you got me with that. Well, you did you did deal. comb your hair back, you said. No, I didn't. <laughs> this is this is I did, my hair is just this is just normal how I how it is. You no look very in sight. Put together, Zach. So Thank I you. wouldn't have been able to tell that you didn't know this was a video episode. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, I guess I still want my friends to think I look nice. You know what I mean? Even if the audience isn't looking at me, I value you guys, all your opinion. I and mean, Johnny, we're new friends, you know, but I still, yeah. now that I know you have this cool chest tattoo, I, I want you to look, <laughs> to look good. So. <laughs> Let's really get into this. So, Zach, you are a writer on what we do in the shadows. So, we wanted to bring you on because everyone yeah. at HeadGum can't get enough of this shit, dude. Right? Oh, that's nice. We're watching it at week to week. We're wa- we're we're binge watching it, banking apps in a way, writing our own specs. Mariko wrote one, and this whole episode is going to be you doing a sample pitch. Perfect. I mean, look, I think that's that's great. So you're binging it and watching it week to week. <laughs> <laughs> so somehow we figured out this system where Pile hasn't finished it. I've already finished it, but in a way, we're all kind of binging it, as in we can't get enough of it. That's what I meant to say. Right, but binging has a very specific meaning that, like now in the modern parlance, when you're talking about a TV show. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's the best way to say that. What is this? The Five Timers Club? <laughs> um, <laughs> is it the Five Timers Club? I think it's the Four Timers. I think club. it's the Four Timers Club, which is a bigger deal than the Five Timers Club. I How think. so? I, you know, I'm not sure. I will say, I think I was the first sort of outside guest on this podcast. Mm. Yeah, but then that's I true. do think just just for my keeping tabs from distance, other guests have passed me in number. Probably since then, but I'm still the first. No one can take that away from me, right? I think you're. The, I think four times really? is a lot. Okay. Four times for a non-employee. Right, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And I don't. I'm not an employee yet. 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 At the, five, by the, at end the of, five time, that's the we prize? offer you a one year contract. <laughs> that's amazing. Carte blanche it, access to do anything you want at the company. Anything I want at the company. Anything. Literally anything. I you mean, could be an accountant or a toilet. Yeah, you can I'm, do whatever you want. I'm not like gonna pick yet, okay? Because I guess I have some time to think. But I'm leading CEO. If if, <laughs> if, if, if if it's if anything is on the table, that sucks for I know. Yeah, the current CEO. Yeah, but, you'll yeah. be okay. I think because yeah. Marty like really hangs his hat on. That's his whole identity. Right. Yeah, that's his identity. Right. It's his personality. Totally. I'm not even doing a bit. I feel right, like, like to take really... that away from him would be devastating. It sounds like yeah. it'd be helpful. Like 
people should contain multitudes. They should be more than just their job. So it's like, okay, now I'm your job. You be something else. He yeah. could be you. Yeah. He could be me. Oh, so it's sort of a freaky Friday that happens. Of sorts, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Man, this five timers thing sounds amazing. <laughs> I can't wait for that episode. This That'll is really four, though. Fun. Yeah, this, this is, is four. four. Let's focus on the moment. It's <laughs> sort of a smaller yeah. deal. Yeah. I, I'm so happy to be here. So great to see you guys. This is great. And, you know, it's going to be a different thing once the quote-unquote podcast yeah. starts. So... Uh, you know, yeah, this is yeah, nice. of course. And I don't mean to take anything away from you, your being here, because I do really appreciate it. But I should say that it was almost a last resort option. We got no's from Trevor Noah, Michelle yeah. Obama, Samantha oh. B, Anderson okay. Cooper, and Scott Ackerman. I thought I thought Michelle just had a con like a schedule conflict that you wouldn't you kind of wouldn't accommodate. So that was kind of like yeah, that one could have happened. You. I just like I wanted to have a weekend. She wanted to do it tomorrow and on Saturday, and I was like ah. I could rather just take the day off. Like, I'm not, like, I feel like you're trying to, like, offend me, but I'm not offended by that. Those are all really famous, like, important people. Like, to be the sixth choice <laughs> after that is really nice. So, no, I was you. I was not I, trying I mean, to offend you, and I'm glad that you didn't. Okay, I just, there okay. are people. Got it. All right, I will put that down as a positive check. I know that the whole audit hasn't yeah. started yet. Yeah, because like the quote-unquote podcast hasn't. Pre quote unquote podcast positive yes. check. Amir, why don't you be Annie Power? And uh, Johnny, why don't you be uh, Faison? <laughs> Faison. Okay. These are good names. I, the same way I was negative right at the top of the last one, I, I'm going to be positive. These are good names. And that's like half the battle. Okay. So. Thank you. That's good. I'm already feeling more confident about this right. one. Pyle, what's the best Harry Potter movie? Wow. I actually just recently rewatched all of them. Mm hmm. I mean, maybe Prisoner of Azkaban. I think I like the best. The correct answer is Goblet of Fire. Which one is that? Well, well, well that's number on. four. That's number four, where Cedric Diggory, and spoiler alert, but dies. That one is pretty good. You're going to have to bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been nine years. I think it's been a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach. Is John Boyega good at acting? Uh, Yeah. Correct. All right, I'm gonna yes. Venmo you a hundred dollars. Why? What's that? For having that opinion? No, for uh, getting the question right. Not a big deal, Amir. You don't have to make a big deal of it. It's just like what he's doing. It's just a lot of money, and you already owe me several hundred dollars, and you keep saying that you don't have it. So the fact that you're sort of flippantly throwing it away for a fake trivia game in which Zach said John Boyega is a good actor. All right, Amir, let's see you do better. What's the best okay, age? Okay, and he did act, He did actually <laughs> send it to me, everyone, so uh, perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, of course. Uh, good good, good guessing. Good good game work. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get too graphic. The last thing yeah. I want to do is like be crass on the show. Right. right. Well, you did you, talk about breaking your dick and right. then using a cream. I <laughs> <laughs> think that you brought up of your yeah. own accord. And, yeah. Yeah, that's true. True. So true. we knew each other. <laughs> we knew each other and you you didn't bring this up to me at the time. <laughs> I think I was embarrassed. I right. was like, I'm 18 years old. I'm at the urologist. That doesn't happen to anyone. No, life happens fast. Yes. All yeah, but I mean, it was kind of from like a cool, like, you know, not cool, but like you were having sex. Yeah, <laughs> sex that's related. Something, right? That's true. That's true. Was, was it? Did it impact your life? Like, Actually, the person <laughs> you know, the person. Oh my god! Yeah, that's crazy. Well, you definitely shouldn't say who it was, but I'm really curious. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna bleep it out? I'll bleep it out. Okay, yeah. But at least now you know. She no, broke yeah. your penis? In a way, yeah. I didn't even tell her. Zach, feel free to chime in at any point in time. But... Stop. <laughs> in the world of this podcast, I'm not here, you know? <laughs> but okay. I think I was just requesting the commentator to chime in whenever. Totally. Yeah. I think. But I just have to act as though I'm not there for the purposes of my audit. And but yeah. You have to act like you're not even Zach? Because Marika just said <laughs> Zach and you were Stop. like. <laughs> right. So I was. In a way, I was being... Okay, but if I'm not in the quote-unquote podcast, and I'm sorry to derail, I know it hasn't even started, but if I'm not in the quote-unquote podcast, who is that? It actually... You know what I'd say? No. Because <laughs> you're supposed to be the auditor. By the way, the podcast did, it has started. I'm an outside observer. I'm not here. I know I'm here right now because we're in the commentary zone. So how do, how do we get to you in the commentary zone to make a comment? <sighs> Man, really good. <laughs> Don't <question>. say, man. <laughs> no, you got me. That was good. I'm gonna keep thinking about that for real. <laughs> you know, maybe I can do like a Hitchcock style cameo on this one. That'd be oh, cool. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do I that? I love that. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna certify the perfect place to insert myself. All right. Yeah, and just like no need to tell us where that is. Uh, I think I trust that you can feel it out as the director. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I agree. All right, cool. and actors ready. Okay, action. All right. What seems to be the problem? You guys don't have the. Yeah. Uh, what does seem to be the problem? <laughs> so okay. now you're at. Sorry, can I cut? Because now you're in the entire scene. Because cut. it's like. What's you, up? No. <laughs> Because now you're in the entire scene because you basically asked the same question as the Ikea manager, which means you're going to be standing there for the whole scene. And it's weird if you don't say something. It's weird if you do. I don't even remember what happened, man. I, I was just so feeling, feeling that the character. Scene. I went into no a way. trance. Yeah. Usually Hitchcock just walks through. It. It's kind of cool that you like, he's not only just there, but he's also sort of backing yeah. up the Ikea manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're yeah. pushing the art forward in terms of cameos. I don't think so. No. I really don't. I'm, I'm like, trying a, to I'm be like a sort of modern, better Hitchcock. And so those are my, <laughs> the things I'm bringing to the table. All right, this time, this time I'll do more of a visual. I'll try to do more of a visual cameo, only for the video. Uh, okay, viewers. Okay. Great, great. <sighs> action. And action. Okay, okay. What seems to be the problem? You guys don't have the. Sorry, it's kind of distracting. I can see like the top half of your head. You're it's not like, fully out of frame. You're bent down oh, in a sorry. way that it's hard sorry. to hold physically, so you're kind of shaking. Make a visual appearance. Can you move the no, screen sorry. but not move yourself? Yeah, I'll try that. All right, uh, let's go to the top. All right, to the top. And action. What seems to be the problem? You guys don't have the Ektorp sectional? Unfortunately, not in store at the moment, but we can order it to the store. Why would I want you to order it to the store when I could just order it to my house? Would you like to do that? Why would I order it in store to my house when I could just do it online (laughs) from my house? Uh, You definitely can do that if you'd like. (laughs) This (laughs) sucks. So, Zach is starting to sort of, is this on purpose? <laughs> You're peeking into the frame. I don't know. If, yeah, we don't know if the screen is like slipping. That's the I'm not that's supposed the to talk. Keep the scene going. Okay. okay. The, this, scene going. the cameo this, was a thumbs up. This sucks so much balls. <laughs> um, Say it with me. Like waving. He's, yeah, he's waving. He's waving. Hello. Yeah. Oh, he went back And he's down. sliding up. Okay. But not even fully, like you can still see the crown of his head. There he is. Okay. okay. Say it with me. You want me to say This sucks so much balls right now. Okay. Uh this sucks so much balls right now. No, not right now. That's not what I said. You didn't say it the first time, but you <laughs> added right now when I specifically asked you what you wanted me to say. IKEA sucks. Is there anything else I can help you with today? The littlest portion of Zach's hair in the frame. He's still in it. Yeah, Yeah, he's still in it. It's just Uh, You didn't say it the first time, but... uh, All right, Ikea sucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hands the phone to the manager. Can you route me to the nearest restoration hardware? Restoration? You know that place is like 600 times more expensive than Ikea, right? Damn it. Today is sucking so much balls right now. I swear to God. (laughs) Can you please stop saying that? This is a family family establishment. Sure. You said it earlier, but yeah, sure. Okay. And cameo. Cut. All right. <laughs> I got to be honest. I, I wasn't paying much attention. I had I couldn't. I was too Yeah, so the Hitchcock action. Yeah. Acting, you can't do both. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. That's also I, the least shit. amount Maybe a director would be in it. something today, yeah. 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 See, yeah. you're always learning, like you said. That's why That's it's so, so hard beautiful. to do, be the multi-hyphenate. Like, a lot of people can't it's, do both, let alone at the same time. It's so that hard. But no, easy. I think the scene, was, the scene was really good. The part that I paid attention to, I thought all three the performances were amazing. And so I just, honestly, hats off to all the... <laughs> All the actors and and this was an interesting piece, Jeffrey. Where where was your head at when you were putting this one together? This one's about the <laughs> podcast. Okay, again, another one you can't mention. Just, <laughs> yeah, thought, just so don't don't say of... anything out loud about the network. We gave you this show. You have to keep things vague. You can't say the other person's name. You can't say this person's name. Bleep it These all. These are some exciting Cut new podcasts. I just yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, they I'm... would be. They should be. And you're sort of leaking the information out in a really unproductive way. So okay. sorry, Zach. You had to hear that. And I shouldn't be this uh, uh, rude to Jeff, but like he literally doesn't understand unless I like 
lay it out like this in plain English. And even then, no, I, I, I have get, very low, I get that. low expectations. Yeah, I support you. Cut. No, it's like we all are rooting for you, man. And like, I had a, such an interesting time doing the segment. Yeah. But even like that, it's like there's so many ways to interpret like we're all rooting for you. Is it like everyone's sad at the way my life's going? Because I'm like 25 now and. Wow, 25. Yeah. Jesse or Paul McCartney. This is for cash. This is $20 for every right answer. $20 owed to me for every wrong answer. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Sure. Zach, why don't you play along? But you're also the auditor. Do you think you can do both? All right. And hey, guys. Oh, so good to be here on the podcast. Yep. I'm going to play this. Hey, game. Zach. We should introduce Zach Dunn, writer for what we, we do don't, in the shadows. No. Bless the hearts. This is, th- this is theater. Twitter. You're, you're kind of a mid-level writer now, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't. is that really interesting to like your listenership? The it's, like specifics of my title on the show? Story editor. Executive story editor. Do you, re- do you really? I get, yeah, I guess I was an executive story editor on the most recent season of the show. Cool. I people, think, everyone knows what that means and really cares about it. it. It basically means that you're making a little bit more money. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. And as I've stated, money is important to me. So that, right. is, that is, uh, that is huge for me. Yeah. Um, his delivery of everything. Uh, he was definitely the person cause I, I started writing on it for season two, the season that just aired. And I was definitely the person I was most excited to write for. And it felt great. Just whatever, being able to hear, lines you wrote coming out of his voice and doing that silly cute accent he does yeah so he's my favorite but they're and, all great and we should say that you wrote the the superb owl episode yes yes with my writing partner with jake, yeah. jake Hurwitz. um yeah yeah <laughs> i don't know how to i wasn't sure how to bring it up wow yeah, yeah. <laughs> should we talk wow. about it shocking to learn it's not like an exclusive partnership thing. i don't know not anymore but yeah so you wanted it to be exclusive? It's up to Amir, honestly. Like, <laughs> I'm chill. You, Amir seems upset. I don't know. I'm just learning, yeah, all, about all this at once, and it's hard to. Um, sorry about that. What was that? You'd go on a date. Ooh, Ooh. how's that going, dude? It's already over. What? Oh, no. <laughs> was it the COVID? No, the COVID. It killed, the COVID was not related. It just, you know, it's just these things. Sometimes these things it happen. doesn't go that yeah. way. No, sometimes these things don't go our ways. Wow. You're in a relationship. Yeah, I love that this podcast, I, I've never seen this side of you where you're sort of getting into like love line style, <laughs> like who's dating who, yeah. like I, this is cool. Well, you thought it was just fantasy basketball. <laughs> like, <laughs> daily fantasy, yeah. birthday name listing. Adjacent, <laughs> yeah. And then it ends, well, I don't know, but this is amazing. <laughs> well, it, we had Sally Dar Griffin on the show. Do you know who that is? Uh, TikTok star. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Like she always talks about dates she goes on. Okay. So we kind of have this mini segment called Dating in LA. Oh. <laughs> and because okay. uh, I feel like people on the internet always want to know about internet personalities dating in Los Angeles. You're dating in Los Angeles. Right. I don't think I'm an internet personality, but <laughs> yeah. You kind of are. I guess. You're Four the most re- requested guest on this show. Requested. <laughs> uh, got him. You su- hey, hey, I'm got sorry, him. I know it's your birthday, but you suck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that out of the way. And now I have a question. Do you want me to be participant? Like, let's say there's a podcast happening right now, which there there is. But as like the quote unquote podcast starts, yes. Do you want me to be participating in the podcast, or do you want me to be? <laughs> Hovering above the podcast, waiting to yell stop, and then give my opinion. Let's do the second one. <laughs> Partici- You're already participating. Okay. <laughs> he can't no, say, no, no, this is this the is, second one. You want him? You want him to act like he's not here? We you introduced Let's, him. It's like a voice of God thing almost, where he's it's like yeah. a commentator. Yeah, a sports commentator. The quote unquote podcast. Yes. I'm doing air quotes. Hasn't begun yet. And when that begins, I'll be silent unless we get into a stop situation. <laughs> it's funny. At Walmart, you feel like there's a target on you. And at Target, I don't know, maybe like a Walmart. Well, it doesn't work both ways, but like it was pretty interesting. No, the it's first so part. close yeah. to working. It's like crazy how close it is. <laughs> What's that? It's so close. That it's like good, I think. Yeah, it is cl- it's I like, like those greeters. Over. The greeters. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying Keep to say going. something. Jeffrey, Keep you're going. playing this no, like... <laughs> Use no, the yeah, use the radio thing yeah. as like an additive thing. Yeah, instead of a no. interrupter. Yeah, yeah. It just feels like it's. I'm the guest, sort of, and I feel like if anything, I should kind of get to yeah. speak unimpeded. You're getting cut off, basically. By I was trying to cut yeah. off Amir, but there's like a delay. Look, I want to. I just hit it right there. Game over. 
Because that okay, joke fell a- flat. I was trying to punctuate. I was trying to add, not subtract. Right. And then I'm yeah, so sorry if, that it didn't go the way. If that the we joke all falls flat, yeah. you don't like repeat it all oh, the time. Oh, this would be good. Next time I'll do that. That's okay. good. That's <laughs> fast. I can see how fast that played after. <laughs> so that's good. I hope I don't get that. You know what I mean? Oh, I my think, God. Imagine, if, that's like getting gonged. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> please, please don't get me that. But. I was just going to say I like the greeters at Walmart, and I think that is something uh, that Target doesn't have. Um, mm. And that's just basically what I wanted to add. I'm so glad to be back on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing so much to the table, and it's just like electric, the kind of vibes I bring. And you're uh, welcome, everybody. Record for like, just so you know, pile. Uh, it's, we go for like 95 minutes, and then we cut it down <laughs> to about an hour. Not I've actually been on the show before. I don't know why I'm on this time. Because <laughs> you watch Shadows. You said you wanted to be on this episode. Jeffrey, it seems like your friends don't care about Shadows, and that's okay. <laughs> I do care about Shadows. Yeah, and then when, you're not even right. letting Andrew talk. You brought him on the show. To yeah. You have a writer on the show. You said, I brought him on because he's a big fan. But so far, you've led the entire can't. conversation. You haven't said anything. It's Let not a dictatorship. Anybody can chime in whenever they want. You're still a writer on what we do in the Shadows. Yep. Co EP? <laughs> you always guess my <laughs> title, which is not interesting to anyone. I'm not a co EP. That'd be like a really big leap, yeah. I would say. You're still you're still just executive story editor? No. I mean, I it's I think you gotta get walked. There's you're a, a producer. lot between that. I'm a producer. Story producer. Producer. Wow. You already nailed it. So and you then, can stop guessing. And just well, hang on, let me look at the schedule. What are you talking about? Just let me, yeah. Actually, I guess it's WJ East, isn't it? You're going to ask about rates? I'm looking at the schedule of minimums. Right. For Why would you do this? What a story. Uh, what was it? Producer? Producer, yeah. yeah. Although, you, I guess you're PGA now, huh? That's not how it works. I'm a producer-level writer. I'm still in the Writers Guild. Okay. So it's like, this isn't interesting to anyone. <laughs> not necessarily. It makes me uncomfortable. How so? I you're, think you're trying to talk about how much money I make. It's important that we discuss our finances so that everyone gets paid fairly. I, but like you're talking about a thing that a union has picked. Like there's no like if someone's doing working at a guild show, it doesn't matter what they don't need to know what I make. Five thousand dollars a week. I don't want to talk about. So this. it's more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But for the viewership, it's it's important to recognize that we live in a gig economy in this industry, right? So you might be getting $7,200 a week. You have agency fees. You have manager fees. You have taxes, obviously. And that has... You only work for, what, 16 weeks out of the year? Yep. So that has to last the whole year. So it's not $7,000 a week. T- it's not 7,000 times 52, <laughs> so it's right? Like, it's you're not- bringing something up. But then you smell it. But it's like, no one was talking about this. No one's curious about it. It's just completely unnecessary, the entire thing. I want to make $7,000 a week. Sure. Yes. But you suck. <laughs> remember? <laughs> Do you remember? You remember? You suck. I said, I said you suck. Yeah. yeah. You guys are my best friends. <laughs> Wow, this is in the podcast he's saying that. Ferris, cut that out. (laughs) I want to do a a brief self-audit, stop self-audit, because last time I said Paul after Jeffrey had already started playing the right music for Jake. So I knew it wasn't him, and I just chose to lose $20. So that's a big self-audit I'm really going to work on just being smarter and more aware of things. Zach Dunn. That's enough. You're live on the HeadGum Podcast with Amir Blumenfeld, Billy Brick, and Marika Brownlee. Hi, everybody. Uh, how's it going? What's happening? We're, uh, we're taking callers, uh, <laughs> seeing what questions people might have for us. Okay. Okay. Um, is, just quickly, is this going to be eligible for the out-of-context HeadGum? <laughs> <laughs> I think in theory, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, I got to turn this on a little bit. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, really kind of random and interesting. Fuck. I can't think. Uh, is the podcast going well? What, why are you calling people? Uh, no, we're taking call. This has been a real point of contention. All three people we've called have been mad that I'm the one who called them. But basically, it's like a radio show. Right, you're not taking, you're giving calls. You're not taking calls. We're rolling calls then, let's say. Okay, I like that. 
should be a kind of Hollywood energy. So I'm supposed to ask you a question after you called me. <laughs> that seems to be the goal, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, uh, paper or plastic? I don't, what, I don't know. I don't, what, like, what kind of... I don't want to do this. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fine. Uh, I'll text you. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Why uh, does it always end with you saying, I'll text you? <laughs> what are you going to text them? <laughs> <laughs> so The joke of uh, the fact that, like, Nadja, she, that, that she's known their grandmother since she was, like, five, <laughs> and then, but then plays was, it off as elder that, abuse. That was our favorite, favorite <laughs> thing to work on and that was really fun the there's a very the old lady was very sweet she's in the movie joker really um, whoa the woman who plays that's a little exclusive here i mean it's on imdb where pe- someone to look but hearing me say it isn't exclusive <laughs> to this podcast um she plays the other guest on the Ro- robert de niro's talk show that's the only scene of joker i've seen uh, it seems like the, the one to see right yeah, well, because of De Niro. Right. And, and the, I'm all about it. De Niro, and I, I've seen a lot of his stuff, so. That's awesome. How, how, many of his, how many of his movies have you seen? You know, I don't really, I don't count, you know, because it's not about the number of movies he's been in, which is impressive, but it's more about the, the art of it all. So feel free to shoot me any, like, De Niro trivia, and I'll just, I'll get it perfectly. Um, at, at any time throughout this episode, this can be, like, a runner in a way. Then my mother was the first to say happy birthday. Yeah. After midnight? Yeah, midnight o'clock. Is she a night owl? Mm-hmm. She, uh, I think she, 2 a.m. What's that? 2 a.m. in Ohio where she texted you. 3 a.m., yeah. Yeah. (laughs) She, I wonder if she set an alarm for that or something. She must have. Um, but we, sweet. Yeah. No, I mean, it came from a loving family. (laughs) Very defensive. I was saying, (laughs) I was saying it was sweet. You took it in a negative way. (laughs) Zach, I want to get your outside perspective here. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, like, um, it was Marika's suggestion for people to audit me. To give me <laughs> constructive criticism, ideally feedback. Criticism has a negative connotation um, on how I can be better. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, uh, I mean, constructive, I guess, is doing the positive work there. But yeah, so you want constructive feedback. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but not criticism. <laughs> but not criticism. <laughs> You want positive feedback. Is that what you want? Yeah, <laughs> yeah cuz it's it, my fucking confidence has been shot after this meeting. Sure. So I could sure. I, I would, you, you know build me up, you know, would be great. <laughs> yeah. To 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 build me back up. I think way. that's uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy to do that. I I do think I should be honest just cuz I think it'd be a disservice to the people listening to the podcast yeah, mm-hmm. if I was just solely positive. <laughs> Yeah, you know, unless unless you do such a good job today that I have no choice. Okay, I get that. That you that know? that's a good happy. So I, that, that's a challenge. Mm-hmm. That's what like I'm kind of a coach. Yeah. Like I'm not just like an outside person. Running. I kind of feel like I'm a coach, and I'm like throwing down the gauntlet. Like maybe you do a perfect podcast today, and then it is all positive feedback. And maybe Amir hears yeah. that, and he's like, "Huh, maybe I was wrong about this guy and all the relationship stuff and all that, and maybe he was wrong about all of it." Do you have a bond of the week? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, yeah, I wasn't prepared at all for this, you know, but I, I have Im- I have improv training, as you know, so it's yeah. pretty easy for me to come up with an actor who I think would be good. Yeah. Um, we've, we've settled you know, on the fact that he doesn't have to be from the UK. That's really good. Yeah. That really helps. Um, I think you should go with someone funny, um, mm-hmm. like maybe Mike Myers, because he's kind of done Austin Powers, which is so close. And then I think you get him doing bond and it's like, it's like he's, he's wearing an old pair of shoes. You know what I mean? And, it, I and he can be so. funny if we want, or he can be really serious. And if we want, um, no, cause I don't, maybe some of the characters from Austin Powers could be in the movie too. Number two, Basil exposition, fat bastard, mini me, um, Frau Farbissina. And then you get them all in the mix. And then it's just, then it's like, just Austin Powers. That movie? Then it's just Austin Powers. Seems like a little bit of a reductive way of viewing it, but I think it would have Austin Powers type energy combined with that James Bond type swagger in a way that would be box office bonanza. That's cool. Yeah. And I'd write the damn thing if they'd let me. I think it'd be fun. I, I don't know if that's a part of the game, but I'd love a crack at that. I mean, the money for something like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Even if they don't end up using your script. Yeah, cause you, you <laughs> totally. pitched this, by the way. So it is your idea and your IP, but you're not even excited this about is... it to write it for the idea. You were, you're excited about the paycheck. 
<laughs> no, I'm, exci- I'm obviously excited about the idea. I came up with the idea. I'm just mentioning the paycheck. I'm not one of these guys who's like, not going to touch my James Bond starring Mike Myers, buddy. Like, money matters. I, I live in a <laughs> capitalist world. I can't ignore that. So, you guys Nobody's can all do Nobody's saying money doesn't like, matter. Yeah. I love yeah. cash, too. Yeah. I'd love to, like, have it some writing credits on that as well. You want, okay. oh, you yeah. want multiple? <laughs> what would yeah. the two be? Johnny, I'm going to give you a co-story by with me. Wow. And co-screen, and co-screen play. <laughs> thank you. And thank actually, you. the WGA just, there's a new rule where you can get additional writing material credit on a live action feature. So I'm going to give that to Amir. So what awesome. does that entail, additional writing credit? You know, it's basically just like people who did a pass on a movie or worked on it. You used to not get any credit for that, but that's that's yeah. a thing that the guild mm. voted on and, and lobbied for. For people like you, Amir, who brought a lot to you know the this idea. James Bond movie, but like I feel like he brought as much as I did, and that's next to nothing. Yeah, no, so, no, you'll be in the mix too, Jeffrey. Don't worry. You weren't even going to have this idea. You. <laughs> you weren't even going to have the idea. Then I introduced the segment, and then you said I have improv training. I can come up with something. Now you're suddenly like striking gold theoretically. For me, Jeff, it's not about PA. like how an idea happens. Like it's just about. <laughs> the idea you know it's not i'm not gonna i'm not doing he said she said for like what got oh my parents gave birth to me they, they deserve partial credit I, you know what? i would give them partial credit you give, give them, them credit for that you you brought it up as an co-direct. example of the absurd <laughs> they could co-direct have they ever directed um, right. um my right. dad's been in kind of managerial positions in his life cutaways to like pictures that like <laughs> you know, or sketches yeah. of their past lives and things like that. I'm wondering, like, is that in the script or like, how does the, like, how does that work? Cause it's yeah, so, I, it's some of the funniest stuff to me <laughs> when they cut away to the various like pieces of art. I agree. They do such a insanely good job finding yeah. stuff. I think sometimes it's in there, but it's like usually pretty vague when it's in a script. It's like, we yeah. see some images of whatever, uh, an old creepy looking vampire. And then sometimes it'll be like, uh nothing and then it just is figured out in the edit and just like whenever they're in like the talking head i think they like to try to layer in over images and other videos to try to keep it more uh dynamic and stuff but yeah i guess there there was a picture i think in season one that i remember people talking about that was like people having sex and it's like a circle of people having sex (laughs) probably for the orgy episode and there's like a penis, whatever. Like there, it's like a tri- <laughs> big circle, and I think they were talking about how, like, whatever the the art department found that picture, and it was a really exciting day. And I think we were excited that FX didn't blur it; they, were, <laughs> they just like aired that picture. So, like, Insane. some of it is found artwork that exists, and then some of it's created for the show specifically. Yeah, I think that probably for those, most of it is is found, unless it's like specific to the characters or or maybe it's like edited to feature the characters but as i answer this question i'm realizing i might not know the end <laughs> i just want to make clear i'm like a low level writer on this show like I, i'm not involved in that much of the decision making and stuff like this so there's a chance that everything i'm saying is wrong and stupid <laughs> why did you want to oh record God. on your birthday yeah. specifically because this one was scheduled way in advance i thought it was going to be like a birthday spectacular yeah me too yeah. <laughs> but now it's just like you didn't even want to address it this could have been a Tuesday recording. Or You're just asking us about a restaurant that I went to like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say about it. I already said it was good. It's not like a food reviewing podcast. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm confused. I, I just thought it'd be something nice to do. It's a Monday, right? Uh-huh. And it's I we, and it's I, late. We also we need the episode to go out this Friday. I still like it. We're not there yet where it's a little too long. It's not a little too long yet. I, I'm still liking it. Yeah, point out the exact moment. The problem is that this is the best part of it, but you gotta wait a little bit to get there. Okay, a little too long. Yep, sorry. So close. You were, you so were so you're close. saying it's literally like the last four seconds. <laughs> it's like four seconds, and that's what I'm... <laughs> and stop. The whole spirit of today is that you're close. Yeah. Like, you're not a bad podcaster. You got something. But it's just these these little mess ups you're doing that yeah. you're just screwing it up. So I I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm giving you that positive feedback you want. You're really close. Yeah. I appreciate that. Can I ask a follow up? Yep. 
where do the missteps or, or, like originate? Is it from me? Is it do I put my foot in my mouth or is it other people kind of like setting me up to fail? Look, it's clear that you think it's the latter, right? And that's what I'm saying. I, I think you need to be looking in the mirror. OK, yeah. and, and we talked a and lot smiling. about mirrors today. And I think not that's, smiling. I think that's what it's about. And I think you're, you're a little too focused on a mirror and not focused enough on mm. a mirror. <laughs> nice. Whoa. So. That's really good. That was really good. That's that it podcast proceed. It's helpful for me with those p- podcasts. Op- it's actually really helpful for me <laughs> to have those little sayings, to have those rhymes, because then it's easier to remember. Podcast proceed. I think you have a case. I do too. But aren't you worried everyone's just gonna laugh through my testimony? Because of my name. Your name. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't think about that. And, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's why scene. it was a bad n- note to give because it's the whole point is that it's his last name. His name is Jerry Seinfeld, but he's not that Jerry Seinfeld. So, so that's it. I mean, you didn't even but mention multiple the... people can talk like that. Like, yeah. it, maybe that would even complicate the case. Even the more odds are so like low that his if he name sounds is Jerry exactly Seinfeld. like him, like my impression does. It would be an interesting wrinkle, I think, to the situation here. And, and you know, look, I, I, I'm not that I'm an expert. You know what I mean? Sure, I'm a writer, but like. I, I'm not saying I know better than you, but this is what I would do personally. Okay. I mean, I did ask for your specific advice, so I guess I'll make him yeah. borderline a Seinfeld impersonator, but not Seinfeld. But his name is Jerry Seinfeld. Zach, your, thor- your thorn is that um, you're, you're house sitting for your brother right now, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, your brother's okay. kind of the thorn in your side. Because he's constantly asking you to do these things. And they're not small favors. He's asking you to live away from your apartment. For months yeah. at a time. I don't. I, am I supposed to correct these now or wait till you're done with all of them? Speak your piece. I am enjoying house sitting. It's really nice. I, I like I, I prefer his place to my place. And so that's the rose. It's actually and really that's nice actually the he's rose. a really nice guy. OK, the rose is your kinship, your 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 um, familial bond with your brother in the way that you can kind of share anything. Growing up, you guys would play together. You would read together. Not really. He's a lot older than me. Um, so we're like half brothers. He's like 17 years older than me. So we wouldn't really play like that. I mean, it would kind of, but not really like, okay. Then your bud is when he kind of sees you as an equal. Whenever that happens. Shit. You fucking got me. <laughs> um, what are we talking? Yes. I'm in a relationship. What is it? It's the, it's the corner of. <laughs> okay, yeah. So your sort of your response to my mean thing is doxing me. No my way. joke thing is you genuinely doxing me. Now all me. the dunheads are going to show up to that <laughs> corner. Okay, life waiting ruined. They're just, just get really latte. rooting for you. <laughs> yeah, they just want to say hi. They want to say they liked a tweet of mine three years ago. Also, there's kind of a lot to ca- uh, cover. Yeah. You've been pretty prominent on Twitter. Twitter's going belly up. I don't think I have been prominent on Twitter. You've gone viral. I've gone, I, I go viral, but does it really translate into me like having a lot of followers? <laughs> Something gets lost in the shuffle. Yeah, yeah. That's like, I want to talk to you guys about There's this. a funnel yeah. that's like engagement, likes, retweets, new followers. And it really is like 10% of 10% yeah. of 10%. By the yeah. time you reach that last one, it's like four new followers. Yeah. And you start to think, was it worth it? Totally. Yeah. It's, was I've it all worth it? Years ago, was have started telling myself a story, yeah. which is just like, <laughs> who needs more followers? Yeah. And, which is, of course, I'd like more followers. And it's also, I tell myself a thing of like, well, I'm not selling out. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm not posting a ton, posting memes, no, trying yeah. to get in the thing. You're not that's, playing the game. That's why I don't have more followers. It's like, <laughs> Maybe. Or maybe I'm just like, <laughs> you don't think it's the that... accurate amount of followers that I deserve. This, uh, yesterday, actually, March 18th, Rand Paul challenged Dr. Anthony Fauci on a couple of key points. And frankly, some of them had merit, maybe. So I'm going to play a couple of clips of Rand Paul challenging Dr. Flip Flop. And you guys tell me whether or not <laughs> okay. that question slash okay. challenge has merit. And I'm so confident that it does that if you guys deem it doesn't, I'll eat a fucking carrot. That's what do you not... think Fauci's flip-flopping on? He said it was going to be two weeks. He says two weeks quarantine to flatten the curve. Right. The, the curve didn't flatten. The curve got worse. But he's not, like, changing his mind about things. Like, it's not like he was like, COVID's good. Really? Oh, wait, it's bad. I don't know. It's I, like, I, you know, we're, we're learning new things about it every day. And, right. And what do we think? Cut. That's the end of the scene. Check the gate. Um... 
So, okay, wow. First of all, I just want to say great job to both the actors. You brought a lot to the performance, maybe in a situation where not all that much was on the page, you know? Thank you, thank you. Uh, I would have made them longer, but I didn't, you know, they're just ideas. Yeah, I don't mean like not that much quantity-wise. I mean more quality-wise. And then I would say in terms of the script, I think it's it's interesting. It's definitely eye-catching and great and sort of gets you and and gets you thinking a little bit it's a little confusing which i think is really the thing you don't want in a script whenever i'm writing my scripts i really want to be clear what's going on in it Mm -hmm. and this is not really hitting me on that dog i'm kind of being like randy jackson on american idol with my Mm -hmm. judging Mm -hmm. you're being like Um, simon cowell but yeah yeah, but, yeah, but he said dog. Show, like, he said dog. Yeah, but like, I said how dog. He's being yeah. about it. He's yeah, like, Simon Cowell would never like say Simon. anything like that. So you're kind of being stupid. Yeah, <laughs> the opinion <laughs> of it like, though dog. is more Simon. Yeah, just like let Zach go. Yeah. So basically, all this to say, uh, dog, uh, this is not <laughs> quite my is. tempo, and uh, you know, but keep at it. And I'm curious to see what other writing you'll do, and maybe hone in on making it less confusing. Okay, so be clear. That's a good note. Um, I thought this was, but you know. The, so Zach, you write for what we do in the shadows, as we said. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Is there anything else that you would like to be defined by? You have a beard. Oh wow! Just like in my life. Yeah, I have a beard, but I don't always. Sometimes I shave. You know, we went to college. We went to college together. I don't think that defines me, but it's, a, <laughs> it's definitely a factor. It's a relationship relevant. factor. Yeah. It's a relationship factor. We go to college together. I was a senior when you were a freshman. Correct. We did improv um, together. But, but we did improv together. Uh, you know, other than that, I guess that, I don't know. I sometimes have a beard. <laughs> I think I'm, a, I'm, I'm fairly meek as a person. <laughs> um, In stature I, or conviction? Both, both. I, I, have a really, I have really bad posture, um, which I know doesn't always come across on a podcast. So now I'm glad everyone can picture me as just kind of a hunched over yeah. Uh, no, I'm trying to sit up. A young I think it body. comes. Ac- I think it comes across somehow. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> sorry, I, I, sorry, I clarified. Then it's interesting. We were talking about the ways the podcast has changed when you were on the phone earlier, and it's <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast. I yeah. like that. You know, this segment is still happening. <laughs> yeah, but other things have, have changed. Kind yeah. of vibes have changed, but we're still doing the bond of the week always. Well, we've been doing these in studio more. It's always harder for me to be an utter asshole right. when I'm looking someone dead in the no, eyes no, that versus makes the sense. Zoom. That makes sense. I used to have six left feet. Now I only have one and a half left feet. Got to be Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jesse. Oh, yeah, the Jake six. It was over the top. It was too over the top. It wasn't British at all. Why is Jesse saying all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you should just, like, stop saying this weird shit. Well, it's kind of like how Kings of Leon released their new e- uh, or e- uh, LP. It's nothing like that. As an NFT. And it's like... I know why they did that. Because imagine Kings of Leon just drop an album on streaming services. That doesn't make stop. any headlines. Yep. Just stop talking about this. And then when we get back to the podcast, <laughs> just move on to the in the game or whatever. All right. Here we go. Go home. Zach Dunn. Hey, Jeffrey. Uh, this is Zach Dunn. I just wanted to admonish you on 100 episodes of the HeadGum <laughs> podcast. Um, now, full disclosure, I do currently have COVID. Oh, and no. I guess I sort of wanted to say that I think it is your fault. Um, Now, if you look at sort of the rise of COVID, it's basically coincided with the rise of this podcast. No way. And Interesting. It's my opinion that if you stopped doing the podcast, probably COVID would stop uh, in turn. And then then maybe I wouldn't have gotten it. I guess it's too late now. Don't entertain the idea. So just something for you to stew on and think about a little bit um, (laughs) as you consider ending this podcast for the good of humanity. All right. Thanks. A lot of people want me to stop doing the show, it seems like. Just to our last Shadows question before I open the floor. Why should people watch this show? What's the why now? Wow. Why is it of the, the why moment? now? I mean, there's never been a more topical or, or important show. Um, I don't know. I mean, they shouldn't. They, it doesn't matter. There's, there's a million <laughs> more better things they should do, but I think it is silly and, and funny. I think, I think that it's fun. They'll have a good time. 
it's a little scary if you like that. I mean, it's got something for the whole dang family. <laughs> you know what? People should watch this show. Easy, and, easy. And I hope they enjoy You're standing it. up. And, and fuck every other show. <laughs> Seriously, fuck those shows. Well, there are some other good fuck shows. Stabs, you know? I mean, Zoe's <laughs> Extraordinary Playlist. Like, no, that one's yeah. good. Fuck, Both of those are pretty good. Uh, <laughs> John from Cincinnati, you know? Like, people need to be watching... That Sh- one's 14 years old. Uh, kind of a deep pull, but it's a 15 year old <laughs> HBO show, right? People are watching it. Like, you're not going to convince me no one's watching that right now. <laughs> <laughs> when they could be watching what we do in the shadows. So now right? you're mad that people are watching. <laughs> I'm feeling pissed off because you've kind of built me up during this podcast. I said at the beginning I was meek, but now I'm feeling so confident from all this stuff. And I'm feeling like, fuck these people that are, you know, out there watching camping or whatever. Yeah. Like, it's just not. They should they should be watching what we do in the shadows. I they can know. do both because the show will eventually end. They'll run out of episodes of camping to watch and then they can watch shadows. I mean, rewatch them. I don't know. What? Ugh. No, I'm pissed. I'm sorry. Guys. I'm sorry. No, you can take a minute. I'm- Amir, you're the therapist. Okay. Zach, why don't you be third good? And Allie, why don't you call scene direction for this? Okay. Interior therapy office. A therapist sits with their patient. Maybe it's because you're kind of dorky. What? I mean, your name is Thurgood. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I mean, your name is Thurgood. That's not exactly <laughs> sexy. <laughs> I tell you, my wife hasn't initiated sex in two years, and that's your response. Let me level with you. I'm retiring. <laughs> checks I'm retiring. Watch. And, yeah, checks watch. <laughs> <laughs> 25 minutes. So frankly, I couldn't give a shit if your wife has the... <laughs> I think we just gotta like take it from the, the top. Yeah. Let's go from the top. Okay, yeah. let's go yeah. from the top. And then again, now yeah, that just I have it in me, right? Any, any notes performance-wise for us or going back? That was a cold read, by yeah. the way. I had never read that before. Same. Let's really try to hit that Sopranos tone. Okay. Okay. And then, can I at least can I make a recommendation that I'm Thurgood and you're the therapist? Just because of how I feel like we come across anyway. You seem like more of the therapist type. You know, my the my parents are both therapists. That's there true. we go. All right. Yeah. Why don't you be therapist and you be Thurgood? So I'm going to okay. sort of try to harness stuff from my parents, yeah. my ancestors, mm-hmm. yeah, recall. Exactly. Yeah. Take yeah, a yeah. second to just switch roles. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interior. Therapy office. A therapist sits with their patient. Maybe it's because you're kind of dorky. What? I mean, your name's Thurgood. That's not exactly sexy. I tell you what, (laughs) my wife hasn't initiated sex in two years, and that's your response? Sorry, and that's your response? Let me level with you. I'm retiring in 25 minutes. So frankly, I couldn't give a shit (laughs) if your wife has the hots for you or not. (laughs) Bottom line is, I'm moving to Hawaii tomorrow, so you say whatever it is you need to say. You already have my recommendation for your next shrink. Just fucking rail your wife tonight, and it'll be fine. Make sure, make sure she comes, like, I don't know, five or six times. Doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm an MFT. I've never corrected you because I liked how it sounded. The therapist lights a cigarette. Also, you might invest in a leather jacket. Women love that biker shit. You don't even need the Harley. <laughs> Just the leather jacket. Cigarette? I'm good. No, you're third good. <laughs> and that's the problem. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. My prawns are here. You, <laughs> you don't mind if I eat some prawns during these last 20 minutes? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I kind of do. Ah, uh, you suck ass. <laughs> there you go. That one's like characters who are immediately at odds with each other, like trying to create conflict in, like, 
not only the moment, but also the character's like disposition. Well, it seems like they've had a long-standing relationship. This therapist is about to retire. Yeah. They have names for each other, built-in jokes. <laughs> <laughs> sort of a, it's an inciting incident, potentially. Yeah, this is interesting. I mean, it feels a little bit like, <laughs> like the way it starts, right? It's like, yeah. maybe it's because you're kind of dorky. What? I mean, your name is Thurgood. It feels like you like named the character Thurgood. And then we're like, all right, what do we know about this guy? His name's <laughs> right. Thurgood. You know, it's like, it's like maybe try to get a little deeper into who the character is yeah. before you get there rather than just being like, well, I named him Thurgood. So, so I'm going to make a joke about how his name's Thurgood. So like more specific spe- spe- specificity. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Specificity. Yeah. Exactly, man. And I think Sorry. that, I think, but this is like really good, obviously. Like, I think it's really good. Yeah. It's like powerful, interesting. And like, you guys aren't just saying that because it's my birthday. No. Is it your birthday still? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. I'm not even thinking about your birthday anymore. I'm no. thinking about other stuff. Okay. And like, I, I, yeah, I think this is solid and nothing to, nothing to worry about. But I feel like we got a good product still. And at the end I of the day, yes, think, it's an audit, but we also need to put out a good product. Right. Because I, I think listeners are, I mean, I'm sure the way they'll listen to it is they'll cut out all the parts that are the podcast and yeah. listen to that <laughs> as one thing. Yeah. You know, right. And it's kind of like a bonus episode. Yeah, you're right. It's going to make sense if you listen to the show because it'll all have been edited together seamlessly. <laughs> right. So they didn't hear they didn't hear what we heard. Yeah. So that's yeah, I would assume totally not. Different. That'd be crazy. That'd be really fucked up if they had heard some of the stuff. I <laughs> so Jeffrey, I'm proud of you. OK, um, I hope this yeah. is a really a month of a lot of healing and learning for you. And, uh, and I appreciate but, that. But remember the whole mirror and mirror thing I said that mm-hmm. people really yes. liked. And I think yeah, just good. I hope you'll keep thinking about <laughs> really liked it. I, we all like arrive at like the realization that it's not going to work out at our own pace. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to rush you there. I'm, I'm just saying, but you do want me to get on the there at some point. On. And you think that path, whenever you, there. whenever you get there, it doesn't matter to me. It whenever. matters that you feel okay. Not if ever. It's awesome being on the podcast. <laughs> this is the third, what we do in the shadows writing related question. Do you have any regrets? So you're saying specifically to that show? It can, it can I mean, in any regard. Anything? Ooh, um, a lot. I'll keep, I'll keep it to the show. I'll try to. Okay. You know, they sh- it's the show shot in Toronto. Uh, it is? And, mm-hmm. I did not know that. There's another exclusive for the podcast. The show's <laughs> shot in Toronto. And I, I went there for a week when they were shooting our episode. And... I kind of regret, I, sh- I feel like I should have stayed a little longer and to like get to know Toronto a little bit, <laughs> to, to walk around Toronto and, and learn about it. I feel like I, I spent like three hours getting to know Toronto and I, I feel like I, I wasted my opportunity. What did you do in that three hours? Um, I went to a dim sum restaurant <laughs> and I went to a museum. Hmm. <laughs> Classic Canada stuff, right? <laughs> it's like all all indoor activities for a city that you wanted to explore and learn about. Well, there you go. There's yeah. kind of the core of my regret. Yeah, um, that makes sense. You should be sad about so- that. Yeah, thanks. Did you get it at NYU? No, I I went to a place that's by me. Very cool. Stop. Yeah. It feels like the MRI stuff is like cooking and is great. And then I don't know what Jeffrey's even bringing to this at this point. <laughs> Not, like, to the specific podcast we're talking about. You know what? I think that you're exactly right. Zach, do you want to tag in and you can kind of talk about your experience with, like, medical imaging? Sure. And then I'll be the audit. What? Yeah. To tag in. I don't know. Podcast proceed. No, what fucking way? Jeff's (laughs) auditing himself. You know, I have a lot of experiences with medical imaging as well. You know, I've gotten x-rays. You know how they put that heavy thing on you, the lead thing, Mm -hmm. so you don't get hit with the x-rays? I mean, sometimes I wish I had that as a blanket. Are you only talking about like x-rays in your mouth? That's like well, like... x-rays in your mouth. I had x-rays. Okay, podcast, my... podcast, stop. Can podcast stop for a second? Because I feel like Zach came on to do the audit, switched with Jeff, and then was like doing five minutes of stand-up just now with the. Like it almost feels like you guys orchestrated this beforehand. I actually had a is note that, that was a little bit more tangible and useful, I would say. Is that, oh, yeah, please. You might want to hit him with like a, what's that? Something like that when somebody's in the middle of saying <laughs> something. That's what I would do. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. How is this teaching you? Because sometimes it's like whole... you can't, you, want, you know that you truly know something when you can educate someone else on it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so when would I say the what's that? Um, Jake. This shouldn't be right happening. Right there. What's that? Like right there. <laughs> no. Okay. 
When somebody asks you a question that you don't want to have to be responsible <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, yeah. you yeah. sort of okay, talk over it. them and yell. What's and normally, that? It, normally good. it's like a good question that could actually like extend the conversation. Um, so right. just keep, it, keep that in mind as well. I mean, it's it's phenomenal okay. that Marika and I both got a, a pretty rare medical oh, exam that? yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we both had an MRI. <laughs> It's crazy. Did you guys hear me? We don't even know what Marika got her. Did you get one done on your back? Yeah. Are you guys Lower hearing back. me? <laughs> Low back. Yeah. Wild. Lumbar spine. Jeffy, I think I'm stuck I'm in the, like, up. the commentary zone and they can't actually hear me in the quote unquote <laughs> we podcast. Can, we're trying to power through. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Marika, you left, you have, Chica- you have Chicago, which is basically an Ivy, right? Yeah. Pyle, you built Vimeo. So I can't help but feel like I need, I need to, I need to like find my niche, you know? I don't know how those are related. It, see, you're trying to, it seems like you're trying to say you're not happy <laughs> where you're currently at. I, I to mean, your coworkers. I'm an outside <laughs> observer here. I, I don't want to be in the middle of anything, but it just feels like you're just telling your coworkers and sometimes your bosses that you don't, you don't want to He does to every there. conversation backwards. He starts with how it should end. <laughs> <laughs> he asks a question, no one answers, and then he just answers it. Because it was a rhetorical yeah. thing that he just wanted to talk about, and then no one has any comments because it's usually like really sad or <laughs> offensive, and no one wants to jump in and be like, yeah, <laughs> either taken to task or associated with the comment. This show ruins my appetite. <laughs> like I'm going to a movie theater. Re is like the art of theater. Really? Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Stop! I can think of four. <laughs> I can think of four people who would disagree with you, Marika. Matt Besser, Matt Walsh, <laughs> Amy Poehler, and the fourth guy. Because they spell it UCB Theater R-E, the place. Yeah, they're wrong. And I'm just saying they disagree with you. I know this isn't an audit thing, but I had to say something, and I'm not in the podcast, so I had to. And guess so, what's okay, not and- a place anymore? Either mm. of those UCB theaters. <laughs> Maybe they did that to themselves. <laughs> It's going to be the other option. I don't know. You have to make that face. I mean, this is what maybe someone else disagrees with me, but. No, I agree. I'm just, I don't know why Jeffrey did. I don't know why you did this, Jeffrey, this whole game. This is something that I've had in my back pocket for a while and I was saving it for a special occasion. So I actually resent the implication that this was like an afterthought and that I wrote it at 823. I didn't, I feel like you're projecting that onto me because you feel that way and. Hmm. I was just asking you why you did it. So we agree it's Sparks? Yeah. yeah. All right. Number four. You didn't You're say. You're not saying whether it's right or not. <laughs> that one was Sparks. That one was Sparks. I almost got you guys okay. with that uh, the comment about how it was a tough one. It's, sorry. You be Schmidt. You be okay. Jess awesome. and, and Winston. And you be Nick and Cece. Okay. Uh, and I'll read scene direction. Interior, new girl loft. Jar Schmidt. I'm being serious, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> right I mean, that. We, we can do a quick pop in of that is, yeah. That's you have sh- her character's name listed as Jess right above it, and then he calls her Zoe. Maybe right. it comes into play later. <laughs> yeah, like, let's finish. Yeah. I'm being serious, Zoe. I feel like I'm having a seizure. Can we stop the cameras, please? Okay. Schmidt, jar. <laughs> okay, I see. I'm not in character as Schmidt. I'm Max Greenfield, and I think I'm having an epileptic episode. <laughs> What's Schmidt doing today? He's being a big old douchebag. Why is nobody helping me? Where's <laughs> Hannah? She'll know what to do. Oh, you want to talk to Cece, <laughs> huh? Let me guess, because she's brown. <laughs> what? No. Jar, Schmitty. What is jar? But like when you curse? It's like a douchebag jar. Got it. I can't feel. Oh, my God. I can't feel anything. Schmidt, you got a condom? No. Someone call an ambulance. Jar, Jar Schmidt. Schmidt. Schmidt passes out. CC enters. Wow. Real nice, Schmidt. You had so much sex, you fainted. <laughs> Jar. Yeah. This isn't a question. I just wanted to shout out some of my l- favorite lines from your episode that I knew that you wrote. Uh, wow. This is a f- fun podcast. <laughs> People just being nice. <laughs> well, again, anyone can Rocks. chime in at any moment. Um, the one where he's like, 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 nice work, pimp. Is it just me or is this guy a total pimp? Um, so that's Thanks. actually just for context. You, this, this will be a spoiler alert, but basically, um, Guillermo Gizmo becomes, and we might have to bleep this out, and we'll, I'll talk to Ferris about it. 
but he meets with a group of um, vampire killers, right? The show's been out for like months. Who cares? <laughs> well, I've been t- I've been you making all my it. friends watch it, and you, uh, you so really does, have. Yeah, I have. Oh, that's sweet, Jeffrey. Which Thank brings you. you still might have end up in the hole, just so you know, because there are three more questions. <laughs> I know that I'm trying to play <laughs> okay. smart. And are you sure eighty? Because last week I Venmoed Caleb Heron thirteen hundred dollars. Oh my god. I mean, I think last time I was on the show, you Venmoed me hundreds of dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm still riding high off that. I invested it really, really Holy well. GameStop, right? No, no, and all the other ones that tanked. <laughs> so you- <laughs> not well. It was well, it was like a smart move at the time. So I'm good. We're getting back $80 locked right. in. It's really? the only money one, and we're not going to do another money one. Ever on this show, I believe. That's okay. the only money game. That was the cash I had to give away. It was uh, $300. I mean, the game's the game, guys. And I, I don't know. I think like we could quibble about it or complain, but it's fair. You won $200. $200. You won $200. <laughs> I'm defending my friend. Like, I don't get why that's controversial. It's a fun game. Because he my paid came you up with. $200. And by the he way, I, could, I, I was right. I, I am the game hungry. Well. <laughs> I played the game well. I deserve three hundred dollars. You said a hundred was cash. the best age to die, and you think you deserve money for that? It's obviously <laughs> seventy four. I maybe give you seventy eight. I think, of course, at the end, that felt a little bit like that's like sort of a catchphrase type thing of yours, and you're kind of trying to jam that in. Yeah, which I would say, writing wise, don't do that because you don't know who's. I don't know if you're going to play the part. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. You know, Allie could be playing the part, and that's yeah. not her catchphrase. And so then suddenly, so maybe keep stuff like that, your personal catchphrases, out of your scripts. That's just friendly advice. No, that that makes yeah. sense. And it's actually, it's funny you said that because I was eyeing Judge Reinhardt for that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The brown guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Judge is attached. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been, I've been good. Yeah, uh, it's stop. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the energy, man. It's feeling way. That's low. what I was gonna say. Is that the energy is kind of zapped, yeah. and I, I feel like well, all I've done is to try and lift you guys up. I don't want to go here, but it just <laughs> feels like you guys need a fourth person in the mix or something. Yeah. I thought that's what you were gonna be, like a guest. I didn't I realize so you were too. voice of God commentator. I hope you guys right. aren't insinuating that it's my fault that this whole thing is kind of jumbled because I'm the one who kind of set, are setting this up to be better and better as we go on. And we, I feel like we barely I'll, even started the show. No, because I have these ideas in my head, so I have to get them out. It's like how, you know, a songwriter will just, like, record three chords, and they're like, oh, that's a progression. I'll work with it later. It's okay to kind of take stock when inspiration hits or moves you brightly. Yeah, I guess. I, I, I would say... <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get the sense this is part of that much of a larger thing, you know? It feels kind of self-contained, like maybe a sketch or something. I mean, I'd say for part of it, it has a bit of a game to it, you know, not to go all UCB on you guys, but uh, hmm. a game is sort of the kernel of a sketch. It's, it's the <laughs> funny thing. It's the engine. And in this piece, there's a simple game that I'll describe to you right now. You Annie just move like the monster him from him. It Follows. <laughs> Sorry, the spirits of the UCB4 were sort of taking over me. Yeah, I, I re-listened um, to one of the episodes that you were on last and you didn't remember Ian McRoberts or sh- whatever the fuck his name is, name. So don't say the spirit of the UCB4 <laughs> ran through your veins. Yeah, I mean, it's when you're so close to people, you don't have to like know their name. It's it's more than names. It's a feeling of the four of uh, them, the way they uh, guide me every single day. Mm. Um Never mind. I was going to compliment the game of this sketch, and because you were so rude, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> the scene is bad, and I think it would could you could put it in a weird commercial, maybe. Um, <laughs> I'm, like a weird commercial, but it's like it's like berries and cream Skittles, so like it ends up being a cult yes, favorite. Yes, it's like random humor commercial for like Tide. And then at the end, they're like, Ugh, sure, could have used some Tide. It might have helped out this crazy situation we're in. Yeah. Sparks might be talking about fruit. You don't know what his views are in terms of his diet and stuff. Sparks, like, he eats clean. Obviously, he eats clean because he's kind of made some money and he's been there, done that. He obviously lives in the Pacific Northwest. He did the notebook. He did. I think he did sleep. He doesn't just live... I, I have I have a spark story, not to derail too much, but he he's no, from please. he's from North Carolina, where I'm from originally, and he he like owns a weird school called Epiphany. Epiphany, yeah. That's like 
That's and uh, my middle school would play basketball against hit the Nicholas Spark School, and they were the only school we'd always beat. They really suck. <laughs> wow. Um, but they were really good at love. They, right. They knew about love. All of their first kisses were amazing. They knew about yeah, tales as old as time, and <laughs> kind of yeah. But I don't know where you got this info about Pacific Northwest. I, I think that because the notebook that takes be place faulty. in I think Seattle, right? It's supposed to be like a check in on like how has my writing ability changed from last November to this November? Yeah. Okay. Better or worse? No, no, yeah. I mean, I don't think you want to know the end. It's your birthday. Like, I'm not going to come in on your fucking birthday <laughs> and, like, tell you you don't have what it takes. I would. Not, but that is what you would say. I would never do that to you. But You're what my if friend. It, what if it's tomorrow? Yeah. No. Yeah, I think tomorrow, tomorrow you know, you maybe let's have that. a conversation tomorrow. Okay. But what might you say at the conversation tomorrow? I don't, I, I mean, it's impossible to predict the future. <laughs> yeah. you know? yeah. But you're I mean, feeling and thinking that. those thoughts now. <laughs> I'm, I, it's like, it's a mishmash of things, you know? Yeah. It's so much, I mean, it's your birthday. You know what yeah. I mean? I've known you for years. Yeah. Like, you, I, I knew you back when your dick was broken in half. <laughs> and it's like, now to see you here, like, trying your best, like, it's amazing. You Doing know? my best or trying yeah, my best? Yeah, exactly. And so, like, let's just finish this <laughs> out and, like, have the best birthday ever. <laughs> cool. Okay. You invited an auditor onto the podcast to listen to the worst segment you've ever done. Yeah, I would say I liked <laughs> you and the podcast more before you invited me on. You know, you've, you've only made things worse for yourself. And okay. I, I don't know what to say, man. He was so, he was you, you, like so excited about being in the Two Timers Club now. Zach, you had him. Are you, you, gonna, had him are you even going to come back a third time? He was time? on your side. I'm not even sure, and I'm not even sure how often I'm going to wear my commemorative sport coat. Yeah. So you did like, get a sport coat. I know, but I, I don't know I'm going to wear it, what, once a week now? Because it's like, I'm not it's that proud of it. Like, I don't want to be associated with this. So often to even wear a sport coat, <laughs> let alone a commemorative a colorful week. one. <laughs> what does it look like? Yeah, I'm glad this happened because it sounds like you're going to wear the sport <laughs> coat in a, an appropriate amount now. <laughs> it's like matte gray. Matte gray, uh, so not <laughs> colorful. It's just, it's a blazer. They're all matte. What do you mean, matte? It says... It's like a men's warehouse blazer. It says Two Timers Club. That's the difference. <laughs> on the inside of the lapel, it says Two Timers On the inside? <laughs> it's a normal blazer. Again, I'm, believe me, now I'm glad it's on the outside because I'm not that proud to be affiliated with this show. Because not only is it not working and there's these segments that I just think aren't great, but Jeffrey's not open to feedback. I'm open know? to, I'm trying. It's just like hard because I'm already, I'm still emotionally damaged from Wednesday's meeting. <laughs> Someone saying action every 42 minutes and you're going to watch that back to back. It's not a way um, feels like you're missing MP3s. this, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's two different things. Yeah. Waves and MP3s. You should probably like brush Grow it up, up on the show. <laughs> <laughs> aren't you, yeah, aren't you a maturely. podcaster? Yes. So you should know Let's the difference this. between a wave. Yeah. yeah. MP3s have waveforms. It's just not dot wave. You're well, getting into like, okay, silence. Okay, Geek Squad. Nice. Like, so before like, I was like, grow I'm up. I'm a nerd. Like, I'm not here to talk about nerd shit. I'm here to have fun. Like, <laughs> yeah. this is crazy. I'm yeah, like, we're like, talking about James Bond, dude. freaking nerd yeah. convention. Yeah. I no, we're not. We're talking about a, a high-budget sequel to Austin Powers that you're just going to call James Bond. You're saying that <laughs> Ray Fiennes is gone. Q is gone. You're... It's still Mike Myers. You're saying Mini-Me is in there. You're saying Dr. whatever his name is in there. Dr. Evil? Dr. Evil? Yeah. Yes. You don't even know who Dr. Evil is? And it's not going to be exactly the same. There's going to be differences. I mean, once, like, have you read the script? Or, like, this you is haven't all, even written like, it. You, come up, you came up with it eight minutes ago. I've read the script. Exactly. But you're saying all these things for sure about how the movie's going to be like, yeah, I actually think Ray Fiennes is going to be in the movie and he is going to be playing uh, Dr. Evil. <laughs> Sorry. So he's not even going to be playing M, a character he has played in the franchise. He's going to play Dr. Evil from Austin Powers in James Bond. Think about it this way. Who are some of the two most evil characters ever? Dr. One, evil. Dr. Evil. Two, no way yeah. that's number one for all two, of you. Two Voldemort, okay? Who played Voldemort? Ray Fiennes. Ray Fiennes. Now, you're accessing that kind of evil power mm -hmm. for him yeah. to play Dr. Evil. And in fact, at the end of the movie, it's revealed that Dr. Evil has been Voldemort the whole time. Mm. So Voldemort's that, also in this James Bond movie. I wonder if that's public domain by now. We can sort of mi mixy matchy sort <laughs> no, of because it's 1999, right? I think it is. It and because of how mad everyone is at J.K. Rowling. It's exactly. Like, who's going to get like who's going to hear that yeah. trial in court? You know what I mean? No one wants her to win.
She's transphobic. I'm gonna win. Yeah. Yeah. I'm awesome and like progressive. Like no one would get mad at me. <laughs> just yeah, when yeah. you think it can't get any worse, it can. And just when you think it can't get any better, it can. I mean, <laughs> see, you should have saved your. It. It's a tricky one for this one because it's just vague enough. So, like, I feel like you don't even know how your game works. To be honest, I'm not playing it, and I will be honest. And I, I mean, I hate to do this. You in front are of pile. playing it because you asked us if we all agreed. It- with you that it was the answer for the okay. last one. You know what? Let's just skip this one. This is the only good one. It's not good, <laughs> but it's just better. Yeah, because it's debatable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's is. debate it. Then let's debate it. You don't have to come at me for the game. The game is working, clearly. He's right. <laughs> really? <laughs> but he's right, he's right. I don't think you got here organically or in a smart way, but you accidentally backed into a pretty interesting question for the game that you made up. This one, for the first time, could go both ways. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip kept their distance in final years. The Duke of Edinburgh (laughs) (laughs) reportedly spent his days in his own way. Fast forward Uh, to the next (laughs) You've chosen to spend your birthday this (laughs) (laughs) All right, no thoughts on that? No. All right. (laughs) You know, kind of cuts us off at the knees for the audit process a little bit. And can I be honest about something quickly? I'm itching to get back in that auditor's seat. Okay. Just (laughs) because I feel like I was at home there. And it's fine being an auditor's apprentice. Mm-hmm. It's whatever. But it's like, I want to get back in there. I so. will happily give it back to you. I just want to remind everyone that I didn't want the... The auditor <laughs> seat was given to me when Zach asked if I wanted to be the auditor. So I'm... Hey, man, I'm not getting audited today, am I? <laughs> no, huh? it's, you're okay. not, it's not you. Okay. You are the auditor. All right, all right. One of the last things I tweeted was a photo of my ass. I don't know if you saw I that. I saw that, yeah. yeah. That was cool. So I was hoping... <laughs> what, are, what are you supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh... And, well, what are your genuine thoughts on my ass? On your ass? It's great. It's yeah. Strong. <laughs> Big. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I don't have, I have like such a bad ass, you know? And then, I, so for me, the bar is you really You are a bad ass? I, I mean, <laughs> duh. But I'm very, you know, it's just nothing going on back there. So it I'm would just have, like impressed whenever I see <laughs> stuff happening back there. It really would have been ideal timing for me. Because that would have been, I think at the time that he bought right. it, he bought it the day I posted it. I think that's what put him over the edge to buy it. <laughs> He's like, wow, look at this. The content. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Is I'd love another question. All right. <laughs> let me just say. Zach, is it better to have loved than lost than to have never loved at all? Okay. Getting into how you think. <laughs> um. Yes, it is. Correct. That's another hundred big ones. <laughs> Fucking, you're asking him this yes or no awesome. questions. These are fucking coin flips for hundreds of dollars. You owe me 400 and you threw out a fucking one I owe through you 585 actually die? per your last I mean, email. you're actually using your phone. He's, this is not, is no one's no, recording. He is, like, are, he's sending his money. Are you serious? He's, he's sending it. Yeah. Do you he's know this is, is this a write off? Because I'm getting this is like work kind of. Can I write off this money I'm, I'm getting? Well, we, yeah, we're writing it off. I guess it's on HeadGums. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. What is this? What? No, I. We're worried about you, man. I just don't want to leave here. Yeah, if there's you're like an bad. elephant in the room. I don't want to leave here if you're feeling bad. No, I'm feeling. What can I good. say that would make you feel good? And I'll say it. That's awesome. The writing you produced made me consider sending an email on your behalf to someone who could change your life. Wow. Um. The writing you produced made me consider sending an email on your behalf that could change your life. <laughs> Zach, Jake. I feel like we already did my plugs. What's that? We already did my plugs, I think. Earlier. You can do them again. <laughs> you can it's do fine. them again. No, yeah, no, no. Come on. <laughs> no, stop, guys. I don't want to. <laughs> You can go back if they want to hear that. They can go back. It was like the middle of the episode. You're asking them. It's like such an. It's already a task to get someone to follow you on social media or like watch the shows that you work on. You're asking them to go back. I'm not going to tell them to follow at Zach B. Dunn on Twitter. You know, I already said it. What else are you not going to (laughs) do? Tell them to watch what we do in the shadows. Okay, I'm not. Sorry. And you're not going to tell them to watch. Bless the <laughs> hearts. to watch Bless the Hearts on Fox. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's very humble of you. Let's talk about dating in LA. You've been gainfully in a relationship for the better part of a decade. 
No. Right. A little less than that. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Three and a half. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Let's what round up. A negotiation. <laughs> I'll give Let's you four. Let's say four. <laughs> because you knew her before you started dating. That's true, but we weren't in a relationship then. Yeah, but you were laying the groundwork. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I need to say for the record that I was not. All right. Four years. Yep. Okay. What is it like dating in a relationship? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Being in a relationship, dating actively. Because you, you never want to stop dating your partner. No. Yeah, you're always saying that. Uh, what's your experience dating in LA? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, no, thank you for asking me about this. Um, it's It's, you know, it's feel similar to dating other places um, for me. Cause again, it's just the real one relationship the yeah. last few years. So it's just kind of hanging out with each other, uh, going to restaurants. We go to the movies a lot. I want well, restaurants. I think that's what people get interested in is like, <laughs> how often are you at like found oyster? Right. Found oyster. I do. We have gone on a date to found oyster before. So. I think that's interesting. Found oyster is really good. Yeah. Do you guys have anything you want to plug? I, I've told you about how you should watch what we do in the shadows. You shouldn't watch devs right. or Zoe's extraordinary playlist or John from Cincinnati or camping. And only those shows. People, could have had. No, I want to add a fifth. People should not watch Dateline. Um, <laughs> that's not even a sitcom. You know, sending people threatening notes here and there. That's all right. So, mm -hmm. Zach, let me know where on right you live, and uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, that is my actual screen. <laughs> All right, we need to end the podcast. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. We will see you next week, or we won't. It'll be interesting. Like America, this is a great experiment. Zach's! Zach's!